What's up guys and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different. We're not going to be working on the G35 today. We're actually going to be working on my buddy Leo's E36 that he picked up like a couple weeks ago. I'll have him explain everything on this car. He did pick it up for like 800 bucks. So this is a crazy, crazy deal that he picked up on. But there are a couple downsides as he'll show you. Along with that, we are going to be installing some max speeding rods coilovers on this E36. They wanted to help out with the build. So we got some coilovers for the E36 and we're going to look over it. Oh my ass! <laughs> <laughs> For the people who don't know, this is Leo. He's been in a couple of the G35 videos, but we're working on his car today. This is a 97 E36 328i. Mm -hmm. I got it for $800. It's a straight meter. It ran very bad when I got it. It actually overheated once I paid for it. It's very weird. It's got plenty of E36 issues. Let me show you the first one. Quick release. It's actually... <laughs> <laughs> For the people who didn't see last week's video, this is keys. a coat hanger and you need your keys to open yeah, it. it has to hood. be keys, like you can't just open it. Oh yeah, right. Anyway. <laughs> Here's the best part. Yeah, nice. It's for style. <laughs> so I had another E36 and I wanted to drift that. But instead I crashed it. So I got this thing, super dirt cheap, so I figured I might as well Drift this thing and just fix up the other low mileage. Almost 300,000 miles. Dude, this is a tank. 800. We don't talk about the oil leaks on this car because it's a monsoon, but for 800 bucks, I mean, you can't complain. Yeah, we're gonna change that today. He's gonna lower his car all the way till what? right here. Wait, so go ahead and check the link down in the description below or go ahead and use code Joe for 15% off your whole order on the Max Speeding Rods website. Save yourself some money and go ahead and buy some coils for your E36 or any of your cars. So these are gonna be the coilers we're installing today. This is the before, obviously you can fit a whole fist on the whole wheel well. And we have the rear right here, which is actually lower than the front so we're gonna even that out once we install the coilovers so first thing we got to do is jack up the car and uh, go ahead and take out the wheels Alright guys, so to take off the old strut, we just have one bolt here. We have two bolts on these sides over here, and that's gonna be it on the bottom side. We have a couple brake lines that we have to disconnect, and then they have the bolts up top. And then we should be able to take it out. Pretty easy, pretty simple on these cars. So let's go ahead and knock it out. What's wrong with your gun? Bro. Bro. It's gonna just smack me, you, or the camera. Alright guys, so we took off the struts, just a couple bolts, and now we're gonna go ahead and explain why we're gonna be running these plates. These are reinforcement plates for the E36s. All E36s suffer from this having thin sheet metal on the strut towers, along with the subframe being very thin as well. So when you're lowering a car or you have harsh conditions on the road, so you usually put reinforcement plates on the coilovers that you're adding, so that way you can take away a lot of the stress that's on the strut towers for front and rear. Every E36 suffers from this except the M3 since they are reinforced from factory so this is one thing to make sure you don't destroy your strut towers from all the added stress that you're putting on the coilovers and the suspension before we install the coilovers I'm doing just a quick check making sure the preload is the same on both of the fronts and also making sure that the height is the same on both of the fronts so we're measuring the distance between the threads on both sides and then we're measuring from the start and to the bottom of the spring just to make sure that we have the right preload on both sides we are going to see how everything is fitment wise and after we have all the fitment then we'll be able to go ahead and adjust the height on these and then we'll be able to run it so we're finishing up the front right now so what I ended up doing there's a little nut that they provide I wanted to keep this brake line from moving around so I ended up using this nut and I cut a little bit of the OEM little bracket that they have so that way this brake line stays in place other than that everything is done on the right hand side for the front and the left side Leo's finishing up but everything was really easy 
easy, pretty straightforward. One thing to take note of is to make sure that you have the camera plates positioned right. You want them to be facing parallel this way. So it was pretty easy and now we're gonna go ahead and tackle the rear. So we have to take off two bolts here, two bolts there for the struts on the rear and then we'll go down below and get the spring. Then we'll take off the other bolts that we need to take off for the strut. actually really dumb so uh, it's supposed to be pretty easy you're supposed to be able to stomp on this shit and it moves a lot like it's that moving, yeah it's moving a lot right now our, our homie Garrett here actually saved us a lot of time our favorite Volkswagen tech saved <laughs> our butt big time on this he ended up realizing that we had the parking brake up yeah. obviously because we're jacking up the car we didn't put it down and because we didn't put it down we actually didn't have much play to go down at all point, we were very stuck we couldn't figure it out I was like what's wrong with this car so if you are are doing yeah. coilovers on the E36, please put your parking brake down. It'll help a lot to be able to take out the yeah. spring. No one really tells you that. Um, no one really tells you that. Uh, he ended up figuring it out. Alright guys, so we're done. We ended up putting all the wheels on the car. Everything is good to go now. So now the fun part, Leo's gonna lower it. We're gonna see how low it actually goes. <laughs> so for now, we're gonna leave it like this. So it's two fingers in the front, one finger in the back so far. Once Whoa. we drive it. Two in the front, one in the back. <laughs> If anything, we'll try to level this one off with the rear since the rear is a little bit lower. I think it's almost an inch higher than the rear, but we'll go ahead and test it out right now. You're crazy. <laughs> oh yeah. That feels way better. Oh my God. Dude. The lack of body roll yeah. is insane. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a boat. It doesn't feel yes, like it's like wallowing around. For, yeah. it, it feels planted. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and change the stiffness all the way stiff in the front and all the way stiff in the back. And that way we'll be able to have a comparison as to what he likes. And then we're gonna see what he thinks about that. What Leo's doing right now, he's gonna turn the knob all the way till it stops. And that's basically gonna make it all the way stiff. He's gonna do it on both sides. He's gonna make sure that it's all the way stiff. And then we're gonna do it in the rear as well. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and take it out again. Yeah. From the Suspension before to now and just coilovers, not even, you know, sway bars and all the other stuff. It really makes a difference. We are done with the BMW. Final thoughts on the coilovers. It's, it's a lot more fun now. I can actually fucking like swing it without feeling like myself fly over to the passenger seat. We also did readjust the front. So now the front is equal to the back. Both of them have a finger gap now. So that's leveled. So that's going to be all for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new around here. There's going to be a link in the description for the Max Speeding Rods website. Go ahead and check it out. It helps out the channel a bunch. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.